Hello, guys. Good night. Good night, guys. Can you hear me much better now? Yeah? Hello, teacher. Good night. Good night. How are you? Pretty good, thank you. How are you today? Pretty, pretty good, actually. Well, a little bit um tired, maybe. And maybe tired. I yeah, but I think it's because of the weather. <laughs> yeah, the, when the weather is like that, to be honest with you, I wish I could be uh, laying on my bed, right? <laughs> all the day. Yeah, all day, exactly. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, uh, drinking a cup of coffee or a hot chocolate with the, uh, yeah. with a piece of cake, you know, something like that. Yeah, that think that could be the reason why. But the weather, yeah. but well, right now I don't know where you are, but here uh, it's really windy where I lived. It's really, oh, really windy. Here, not here, only the wind. Only the wind? Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, windy. Wind is like there's when there is like a lot of wind. Oh. That's what oh, we call windy. Yeah. Uh, oh, really? Is it, oh, is it cold where you live right now? Uh, not really, only a little. Only a little? Yeah, only a little. Oh, I wish it could be colder when I am. <laughs> well, but yeah. to be honest with you, I've been, um, I don't know, I've been really cold. I've been in places where it's really, really cold, but a long time. So right now my body get used to the Salvador's weather. And now I feel really, <laughs> I feel <Yeah>. risen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel risen. And I was like, oh my God. Okay, let me change it. Okay, there you go. Okay, I was double checking and changed my background. Okay, cool. Hey, Humberto, how's you going? How's the weather like? Hey, good evening. Good evening. Welcome back I'm, to the real Umberto. No more lawyer uh, outfit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but you look pretty good, actually. Pretty, uh, if, with, uh, with the permission of your girlfriend, pretty handsome. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, of course, with the permission of your girlfriend, of course, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Okay, Alain said that where he lives is really windy. What about you? Is it windy where you live? Windy. Very like windy. Really? Oh, my yeah. God. Uh, hopefully nothing happens with the internet, right? Because sometimes with that, when there's a lot of wind, it could have a really uh, internet connection really bad, but hopefully not. And tell me, guys, yeah. what did you do on this long weekend? Because it was a really long weekend, by the way, right? From Friday until today. So that was really nice. Did you rest a little bit? Only a little bit. A little? A little bit. I have a lot of work. Oh, okay. I don't know if... Did you listen about... Uh, Ministry of Education Computers for Teachers. Yeah, yes, I do. Yeah, I prepare about around 25 computers all the weekend Ooh, for all the teachers. My goodness. I have a lot of work. Yeah, definitely. That's a lot of work. Yeah, I am excited about all of yeah. this. I know, and imagine right now you're still in front of a computer, right? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. My <laughs> husband used to work for the um, Philips Lighting of El Salvador. Okay. The one that, uh, uh, the bolts, right? The illumination things, right? And, oh, uh, yes, yes, I understand. Yeah, and, he, and he was in the IT department for the, um, basically Latin American. And, and I know when he has to prepare things, oh my goodness. And we had meetings, yeah. oh no. His uh, boss yeah, was from the day. Yeah. In noon, in the morning. Oh, yeah, okay. I know, exactly. That's He's cool. boring. Sometimes yes. it's boring. Sometimes it's boring, yes. Oh my God. But that's part of the business, right? Part of the job. It's part of the business, yeah. Every day, <laughs> part of the business. Every day. <laughs> but I'm so happy to have you here, even though you're tired, Alain. But it's really great <laughs> to have you here also, Umberto. I have Janet, by the way, here. Also, Carlitos, Olga, Danny, and Patricia. Is it right? Yes, teacher. But I want to see your beautiful faces. Come on. 
<laughs> yes, long oh, weekend, baby. you relax. And <laughs> just, they say that if you sleep a lot, it will help you with your beauty, right? That's what they think. That's why they said. <laughs> Hi, Patty. Hey, our Carlitos, you're wearing a mustache, right? Mm. Yeah, a little mustache right now. <laughs> That's yes. nice. Olguita, <laughs> what about you? I'm going to see your face. I want to see also Danny's face. There you go, Olguita. There you go. Okay. What about, oh, and Mercedes is joining right now. That's good. There you go. The, the, guys, did I give a homework, by the way? Did I left the homework? No, right. I was a really nice teacher, actually. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, right. <laughs> yes. No, I know you deserve to rest. It's because when I when you come back from vacation, all right, we're going to work a little bit harder, right? We're going to work a little bit harder. And Anita's like, what? ah, but I remember that there were two guys right now, two guys right now because we're waiting for the third one hi okay look at mr umberto smiling <laughs> no okay i yeah i yeah you know what sometimes i do have problems with my memory but i do have problems with my short long-term memory you no know, with the long-term memory okay but with the short term i do have problems with that and that's for that's for real guys i'm not inventing i do have problems with the short-term memory but for the long term i don't so I remember that Umberto was supposed to give a um, a present, okay, two days the, <coughs> the previous homework, and also Anita Mercedes. Do you remember that? Yeah, right, Anita. Don't worry, don't worry teacher. I did my homework. I know that you did it, and because you know that I'm going to ask you, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, so do we uh, follow the, the rule that ladies first or no? Yeah, always. <laughs> ladies Anita, first. I'm sorry, Anita, but you said ladies first. So if you would like to, you can uh, uh, start, okay? We're listening to you. Um, it is allocated the Europe. Okay. It, it found there be. Hamburgo. Hamburgo, okay, yes. Hamburgo. Mm -hmm. I spoken the German. German, okay. It using the euro. Euro, okay. It it found there my Munich, mm -hmm. the home, the Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest, okay. Ah, Oktoberfest are exporting the uh -huh. um be, um, how do you say vehicle? Vehicles. Vehicles? Or you can say cars. A that computer. A cars. A cars, okay. And computers. And computers. Okay. Computers. computers. Uh, okay, guys. So Anita is talking about a European country who actually uses euro, right, for a currency. They export, remember, guys, computers, cars, and beard. And they are so famous for the October Fest. What is the a country that she's talking about? Do you remember that? Hey, that's talking easy. about Germany. 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 Is it Germany? Yay! Very good job. Oh my God, you are so good in geography, guys. Excellent job. Very good. <clears throat> Mr. Umberto, now is your turn, sir, if you don't mind. <laughs> okay. Go for it. Well, uh, at first, I'm going to tell you that it's an island. It's an island, and, okay. Yeah, and it's located in nor Northern Caribbean. Uh-huh. And it's the largest island in the Caribbean Sea. Uh-huh. Uh, another clue is that it was a colony, it was a colony of Spain. Mm-hmm. And this is a country, uh, this is a beautiful country because it's visited uh, for because this country has a beautiful beach. Uh, his name is it, its name is uh, Varadero. Oh, I knew it. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. So, what's the country that he's talking about, guys? Any clue? Cuba, Cuba Maria. Yes, Cuba? Mr. Umberto, Cuba. 
Is it Cuba? Yeah, that's right. I knew it. Oh, Cuba. Yeah, Cuba. And is and she got it because of the famous uh, beach, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have a friend who used to study there. Yeah. And now he's a doctor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but he loved that. He lived there around, I think, around 10 years, maybe, I think so. And he met his wife there. <laughs> yeah, that could be the reason. Hey, but that's nice. Okay. Uh, somebody's missing? Danny? I think Danny, right? Or Janet? No, no, no. What about Janet Montano? I don't remember that I heard Janet, actually. Yes, teacher, um, I'm here. Okay. Did you do your homework, by the way, about a country? What were the homework, teacher? What were the homework? <laughs> Guys, remember, give a comment. <laughs> what happened? Janet, don't tell me that you did. I, I didn't come the, the last class. Yeah, but th that was on oh. Thursday. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It was uh, basically that you need to select um, a country and you need to put in practice which verb tense, guys, which grammar part we saw. Do you remember? Do you remember? Passive. Pass. Boy. The passive boys. Mm -hmm. For example, uh -huh. if, yeah, if you select, uh, for example, the Spain, you said... Uh, there was a European country or that was spoken or it's, it's spoken, right? It's spoken because you need to use it, the passive without by. Remember that we use uh, the simple present, right? And the past participle yeah. of the verbs. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, Janet. Sorry, did you, uh, I didn't call the <laughs> uh -huh. last class. Yeah, don't uh -huh. worry. I, I didn't I, I will try, uh, do me a favor, check the video on th Thursday. And then you can give us the, the homework tomorrow, okay? Yes, okay. Don't okay. worry, I will give you time. But I remember that I was Roxy. Roxy! Hi, Roxy. Hi, Roxy. Hi, teacher. Hi. I, you, I think you were one of the girls who supposed to give the, um, the homework today, right? <laughs> am I right or am I wrong? Oh, you're right. Yeah. Okay, let's listen to you. I don't remember the... the I, do, I don't remember that homework. I, I know that we're like Janet. Come on. <laughs> Roxy, you're supposed to pick a, a country and you need uh, to use the passive without by, which is you can use the simple present plus the past participle of the verb. And do you remember that I sent to the WhatsApp group, guys, like uh, six questions, right? that you need to like uh, take into the consideration so you can make a paragraph about that country. Okay. Double check on the WhatsApp group and also you will be giving it uh, tomorrow on, on Tuesday, okay? Okay, teacher. Uh -huh. Not with me, no, you, you have to study with me. Okay? <laughs> uh -huh. But I forgive you, okay, just as for this time. Okay, I'm just kidding. Okay, Wendy and Danny and Mercy. Okay, guys, today we're going to have so much fun, you know? So much, so much fun, because uh, basically uh, 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 we're going to learn uh, something really important, which is basically um, passive. It's, we're going to talk about grammar, but it's not like a regular way, way so don't worry about that. Uh, we're going to talk about two verb tenses that we're using to talk about actions in the past. Have you, do you remember simple past by any chance? Yeah, right, that is easy piece yeah. of cake, right? Yeah, yeah, piece yeah. of cake. Yeah, piece of cake, uh-huh. Be and, another verb. Uh-huh, what exactly, the simple past, remember the regular verbs, the regular verbs, and the past, blah, 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 all right. And do you remember the past continuous? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay, hopefully you do. Okay, we're going to basically, guys, uh, take a little bit review about both of them. When do we use them? And also uh, how we construct the sentences. Why, guys? Because sometimes when you are talking about actions in the past, you can use both to talk about them. But you need to know when to use them and how to use them. Because one, for example, the simple past, guys. Do we use the simple past um, 
to talk about past and then also things in the pre in the present is that right or no 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 right okay no we use a simple past when guys when you need to express an action and that action is starting and finished and finished at the past exactly exactly the simple past for example is an action starts in the past and ends in the past period okay uh, for example, I was born in 1982. That's it. I was born that day. Uh, I cannot go back to 1982 because that passed a long time ago. Right? So right. that was something in the past and stayed in the past. Or for example, I lived in Costa Rica um, on 2005, for example. Well, I lived in Costa Rica for four years, right? For four years. That means uh, it were in 2012, 2020, it was like a 2016, right? Okay, so that means that four years ago, I was there. Now, I'm not there anymore. You see? That is an action that ha happens in the past and stays in the past. What about past continues? Do you remember? Anything related to that? No? But you have to express actions in the in the past, but the action is in progress. Exactly, you have an idea. Very good, Umberto. Exactly, that that's really is basically. Mm -hmm. Actually, the past continues. Basically, guys, it's of course right. You're talking about the past, but one action starts, or one action was in progress in the past when suddenly another action came. For example. Uh, while I uh, while I, I was while I, I was uh, doing my own work, a an earthquake happened. You see, I I was in the process of doing my homework. Right, that was past, but something happens. Another action happens when the first action has already started. Okay. Do you have an idea what's going on? Don't worry about it, Anita Mercedes. Don't worry, don't worry. I have a lot of pictures and a lot of examples to show you, okay? So don't worry. Right now I need this like a big question mark, right? Gran signo de interrogación, big question mark. What are you talking about? Okay. Hey, Maria, hi, I haven't said hi to you, sorry. Jose, thank you, Jose. Adela. Hi. And Miss Wendy Guadalupe. I hi. love that kitty cat that is on there. Oh. Very good. Okay, allow me just one moment. Let me show right now my screen. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Let me show you something. And tell me, guys, if you're able to see my screen, okay? I'm really concerned about that sometimes because you're not able to do it, but let me check. Uh, can you see it, guys? Tell me if you can see it, please. Tell me. Yes. 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 Very good. Okay, so this first guy is basically is an example of the simple past, okay? Who can help me read the first sentence? Carlitos, go ahead, please. Give me the read the sample for simple press, simple past, please. Sorry. They went to the sorry to my, mm -hmm. my screen. Okay, they went to the movies. Okay, the second one, please. He, he came home. Mm-hmm. Um, she drove my car. Very good. Okay, the example that Carlitos have has written is basically actions, guys, that happens in the past, right? And why we know that? Because we have the birds here. You see? All the birds are regular or are regular, guys? Irregular. Irregular. Very regular, very regular good. Regular. Went is the past of which verb? Go. Mm -hmm. Go. Came is the past of which verb? Come. Come. Mm -hmm. Come. And drop? Drive. Drive. Exactly. Drive. So you see, don't, these three actions happen in the past. They went to the movies. I don't know when, but I don't care. I just, I just emphasize in the action. He came home. Okay. She drove my car. And basically, guys, here you have the structure of the simple past. Okay. You have the structure of the simple past in positive. You have it here. You have uh, in negative, and you have as a question. Okay, 
I just put it right now, guys, because it's something that you already know, but just to make a refresh, okay? That's what I did. Any questions right now? No, I, I know that no. you No, okay, very good. Okay, now, guys, this is what I want. Uh, okay, let me put here, because I want to show you something here. Okay, there you go. Now let's talk about a little bit of past continuous. This is uh, basically something that also uh, Umberto has already mentioned. He was right about that. Umberto, could you please be so kind to read for me when do we use the past continuous? Past continuous. This, this tense has more than one use, mm -hmm. but this time we will use it to describe an unfinished action uh -huh. that was interrupted by another event or action. Very good, exactly. Guys, we, we can use past continuous with a lot of things, but right now we're going to emphasize that, for example, we are going to use it to describe an unfinished action that was interrupted by another event or action. And let me give you an example, okay, Anita Mercedes? Anita, before I move on, do you understand the definition of the past continuous, Anita? Yes, I, um, example. Okay, there you I go. I drink a guess in the verb in past. Uh, no, wait a minute. I'm going to give you right now an example, Anita. Um, I drink, but my dog uh, put me. Uh, no. I know it's this correct. No, Anita, right now, uh, let me give you an example so you will understand much better the past continues, okay? Okay, let me okay. give you an example right now. Okay, guys, take a look at this. This is the first action. Take a look at this one. Okay, this is the first action. You see? I started, guys, reading a yes. book. Okay? I was reading a book. But something happens while I was reading the book. What happens? When that you came. came. Okay? So guys, oh, remember, God. this is an action that has already been started, right? Reading a book. Okay, I was not finished my book. I was reading the book when that person, you, you can say your husband, your wife, your girlfriend, whoever, when you came. Do you understand, Anita? Yes. Okay, this is the first action. Reading the book is the first option. So this action has no finish. I was uh, continuing reading the book when somebody came and interrupt my reading. Okay? So that is the past continuous, guys. Is it clear right now, Anita? Guys? Next yes, example. yes, yes. Okay, I will give you an example. Yes, <laughs> Roxy, right? Yes, and I always need to to uh, auxiliary when or... Ah, I will explain it to you later on. I will explain it to you. Don't worry. What I, what I would like right now that you understand is how you construct past continuous. How you construct it. I will explain it to you. Which are the, the words that goes with um, past, simple past, for example? And which are the words that go with past continuous? Okay, I will explain to you that la later on. Okay? Let me give you an example, guys, of past continuous. There's another example. Um, Anita. Anita, do me a favor. Can you read for me this sentence? I got the sleeping when the dog... But I market, know. market, market. Exactly, Anita. Tell me in Spanish. What do you mean? What do you understand about the sentence? What do you understand? Uh, yo this... estaba durmiendo cuando mi perro es. Uh, I know. Uh, how do you know this? Star? Dog market. Um, mm -hmm. Translate. Uh, market. Barker es ladrido, ladrando o ladró. Oh. El past, mira qué interesante. Yo estaba durmiendo uh -huh. cuando mi perro ladró. Exactly. Y las dos son en pasado. Exactly. Pero mira, esta, I was sleeping 
This is... No, es, ese es progresivo. This is past continuous, Anita. Ah, past. Ah, That's past okay. continuous. Esta que ustedes ven, this is the one that you see, guys. What type of uh, verb tense is this? Is this past continuous, guys? Oh. No. What's that? Simple this past. Is, simple past. Simple past. Exactly. Past. This is simple past. Simple past. Okay, so, guys, you, when you're talking about um, things... You can combine the two verb tenses. You can you can combine the simple past, the simple continuous, or the past continuous, sorry, with the simple past, which we have done right now. Yes, first the first part, past continuous. I was sleeping, and then simple past. The dog barked. Okay, so uh, Anita, when you would like to talk about actions in the past, you can use both verb tenses. You can use simple past with past the continuous. Dog, past continuous is what is sleeping. No, past yes, exactly. Past continuous was sleeping. Very good job. The dog barking is simple past. Simple past, exactly. And nice bark. bark is roof, roof. Is it clear? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course, right? You see, I, I can imitate a dog, guys. That's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, you have to congratulate me for that. Teacher. Yeah. Uh, can I exchange the sentence? For example, can I say the dog barked while, while I was sleeping? Yes, you can say both of them. Ah, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Now, guys, take a look at this. I'm going to explain something that Roxy asked. Right? When? When? when. Okay. When you, uh, when you would like to join, guys, two sentences, and you, you're going to add a um, simple pass at the end of the sentence, which in this case is this one, you are going to use when, but only when with Simple pass, okay? Only with simple pass to join the two ideas, okay? I was sleeping when the dog barked. It's exactly the same example here. She was working when he had an accident, okay? Why? Because the second part of the sentence is simple pass. So we use when to join the two ideas, okay? Is it clear right now? When do we yes. use when? Okay. Now, uh, and here, guys, we have the structure for the uh, past continuous. With positive, we have a, of course, subject, was a word, and the ing form of the verb, for example. With negative, remember that is um, was a word, not, and the verb in ing. And do you remember that a past continuous? You uh, will, like, this question. Move. Yes, Anita, right? Yes. Okay, Anita. Um, the bear first is ENG. Aha, uh -huh. I will explain to you something. Okay, take a look at the structure of the past continuous. Let me let me go a little bit slowly. Uh, let me check. Okay. This one. There you go. Okay, Anita. This is this sentence, Anita. Is it positive or negative? Guys, positive or negative sentence? Positive. 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 Exactly. You're right about that. It's positive. Okay. So follow the structure. You see? We have the structure here. First, we have the subject. Excuse what is the subject me. in this? I, I um, was saying anything. Well, no sé, no sé decirlo en inglés. Do your best. Dilo, dilo. saber mm -hmm. que eh, está eh, positivo. Ah, for him. Anita, what, what, what is the word that we, that we use eh, para, poner, para poder decir algo en negativo, guys? What is the word? No. Not. 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 Exactly. No. So if you don't have not, eso entonces no. es positivo, no es negativo. Mm, the use of not uh -huh. is a negative. It's a negative, exactly. And no, the use not is positive. Positive. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, okay. Exactly. You. You're welcome, Anita. Okay, guys, so we have I as a subject. Then, guys, we have the verb to be, but in past. What is the past of uh, verb to be, guys? Was. Was. Or, or where, right? Was. Okay, tell me, which, which pronouns do we use was? I. Uh-huh. I. I was, she was. She. she. Uh -huh. It was. It. Exactly, very good. What about where? You, you, we, you, we, we, they, they. exactly, they. very good. Okay, so you have to remember that first you have to put the subject, then the past of verb to be, it could be was, or like this example, the third example, guys, it could be where, okay? Depends, of course, of the subject that you're using, right? And then we have the main verb, which in this case is a slip. But since the past continuous, it has to have the ing form, we put ing, okay? Sleeping. This verb is work, but if we put ing, it's working. And this verb is paint, but if we put the ing, it's painting, okay? And then, guys, that complement. Is it clear right now? A little bit more? Clear. Yes. Clear, teacher. Like water or like horchata? Like water. Like water. Thanks, God. Anita, horchata or water? Water. Water. Of okay. <laughs> of Jamaica. Okay, very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let me give you an example here. Okay, let me pop it up. This is screen. Okay, that is where I wanted to explain something, Roxy. Let me check here. Okay, let me choose another color. And which one? This one. Oops, this one. Okay, you see guys, past continuous versus simple past. Read for me this uh, part of the um, example. Who's going to read it for me? Umberto, oh, no, Umberto no, already participated. Uh, 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 uh. Adela, yes? Yes, okay. Okay, Adelita, go ahead. Use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past. Mm -hmm. Use the simple past for an action that inter interrupts, interrupts it. Interrupts it. Again, interrupts. Adela, you can do it. Go ahead. One more time. <laughs> Use the simple past for an action that interrupts it. Oh, very good. Okay, guys. So the simple, the past continuous is when you're talking about an an action that is in progress in the past. And when you would like to emphasize that the second action interrupts the first one, you use the simple past. Yes? Estamos bien ahí? Yes. Okay, yes. okay. I already explained it to Roxy and to all of you that we use when with a past, simple past. But Roxy, can you see this little word here? The one that is mm -hmm. I'm circling, while, okay, while, yes. mientras, while, mientras. So this one, Roxy, I'm going, this word, I'm going to use it with past continuous, okay? And when, I'm going to use it with simple past, okay? And take a look at this, guys. If I use when with simple past, when is in the middle between the past continuous and the simple past. Do you notice this, guys? You see? It's in the middle. Yes, it can. Okay. Yes. But if you're using while, is, is it in the middle of the sentence, guys? While or no? Not at the beginning. No. No. The first. Exactly. The at the beginning. Um, at the beginning in the part of the past continuous. So you said, while I was shopping one day, a celebrity walk into the store. Mientras yo compraba, un día, una celebridad entró a la tienda. See? Is it clear, guys? So while yes. you're using with past yes. continuous, and when you use it with simple past, okay? Clear or not clear? Yes, Roxy, go ahead. Clear, clear, teacher. Go ahead, Roxy. 
but it's necessary. Is when I use a uh, past continuous, it's necessary to use or uh, or to explain uh, why I I use past continuous. For example, uh, mm -hmm. is necessary to use but or when or why? No. For example, take a look, um, Roxy, at the other examples. In these two examples, I'm not using a, I'm not using while. Okay. Uh huh. And in the first example, and in the third example, I'm not using when. You see, I'm only using the past of the verbs. Fell, which no. is the. Uh huh. No, o sea, sí, pero, o sea, mm -hmm. sí es necesario dar una explicación después de usar el, el, la oración en past continuo. Oh, yes, of course, exactly. And yes, you, you have to do that, eso sí. And, the, and the, what is the, the explanation or the action that interrupts the first one? The second part. Y en este second part, ¿qué vas a usar? Simple, pass. Ok? Mm -hmm. Eso sí, eso sí. Porque si tú dices, I was watching a good movie. Estaba yo viendo una película, era una buena película. Ajá, ¿y? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Por qué me decís eso? ¿Me entiendes? O sea, ajá, ¿qué onda? ¿Qué pasó ahí? Como que te quedas cortado, right? Tienes que poner lo demás para poder make sense, ¿sí? Para dar un poco de sentido a la oración. O lo que está pasando, ¿sí? ¿Verdad que es easy, easy, quizy, guys? Piece of cake, right? Ah, sí, teacher, para usted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. But, uh, Alain, be, right? Could be. Uh -huh. No, it's uh, Jose Ismael. Jose Ismael. Okay, let me one moment. Let me go back. I want to see your beautiful face. Okay, there you go. Uh -huh. Okay, yes, tell me. I was thinking that uh, if you can't or if you don't do uh, an explanation when you okay, use yeah, past yeah, continuous, mm -hmm. it's well, when I'm you, well, before not... are used okay, it, uh, not... another, another oh, phrase with um, past continuous too. Uh, For example, uh -huh. uh, I, I was in my house, uh, last uh, or yesterday when i was say, when i was watching a movie yes but, but you need to 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 give uh, the other sentence i was thinking that but uh, it's incorrect it's incorrect I, I, I see it it's incorrect yes it's the opposite yeah. way mm -hmm. that's why you can use it but you need to know how to use it and you can use, as, as long as you know how you construct past continuous, how you construct simple past, and if you can join the two, so you can make like a sentence or occurrence uh, actions when you're talking about the past. Let's double check. Okay, guys, I'm going to send something to you right now to WhatsApp. It will be like a writing activity. And because we're going to uh, work on writing right now. And I would like to double check how you understood <laughs> this okay. topic okay let me check um i will divide it in groups we are 16 right with me 17 so let me right now divide it but first of all i'm going to send the information to the whatsapp and let me know guys if you are able to see it or to have it please bear with me for a moment let me pop it up this <laughs> there you go mm -mm -mm. Where is it? This is what I want. Okay. Pop, pop, pop. Let me check. Okay, let me open you guys. There you go. Okay. I'm going to send it, and as soon as you receive it, please let me know. Okay, guys, I already sent it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you did? Okay, cool. So this is what I want yes. you to do. Okay, this is like a writing activity. You're going to put in practice both. 
okay? So you need to, for my best recommendation will be that please read the first sentence until the period ends. So you will know if you need to use past continuous or if you need to use simple past because you need to use both. Okay, but I'm not going to tell you when you're going to use this one, when you're going to use the other one. No, you need to read carefully the sentences. And just remember, I will give you a clue. Remember, while we use with past continuous or with simple past, guys? Past continuous. Past, past continuous. continuous. And when? Simple past. Okay, simple past. take that into consideration when you're doing the writing activity, okay? Because that will help you a lot. Okay, so. And but. And but. And but. And simple pass. pass. Simple pass. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm not going to help you, Roxy. Ah, come on. <laughs> okay, I'm going to divide it in two groups, okay? You're going to, to help all of you together. So bear with me for a couple of minutes. Hey, Fernando. How are you, my dear Fernando? Long time without seeing you. Hello, teacher. Hello. I miss you, Fernando. Come on. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to, right now, guys, uh, divide the groups and just accept the invitation, okay? Okay. 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 Alrighty. Okay, there you go. Uh-huh. Guys, any questions? Any doubts? Uh, we um, are beginning. ENG in first verb. Aha. Uh -huh. Do me a favor. How many sentences we have? Seven. 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 So, yeah. so, well, my best recommendation, why do you do not divide it? Into one for okay. each one. Okay. One Carlitos, one Patty, one Anita, and so on. And then when you have it, you can share, hey, I think this is this and this and this because of this okay. and this and this, okay? So that, that will help you and you can make it faster, okay? Okay. Teacher. Okay, cool. Okay. okay, let me double check the other group and I will be right back with you. This only my brother was a snowboard. Ah, okay. When he... How was it, guys? Is it good? Do you have any any doubts? Any questions? Yes, teacher. I don't know. It's snowboard. It's not a bird. So it's snowboard. I use... No, it's snowboard. No, it's snowboard. Es un deporte. It's snowboard. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. So I in the first one, no I use my brother was a snowboard. Was a snowboard or a snowboarding? A snowboarding. Was snowboarding. But that is not a bird. Why I, I aggregate in depends, depends the action. You, that's why, uh, Roxy, my best recommendation is to read the whole sentence. Read the whole sentence. So you're, you, you're going to double check hey, that word is, I a, word. is I, a subject, is a verb right now, or is an adverb? Depends because one word, uh, uh, Roxy, could play a, a verb, an adverb, or a noun. Depends. So in, the, in this case, can be. My brother uh, was playing a snowboard, or my brother was snowboarding. Exactly. Yeah, because it can be a noun or a verb. Depends. Mm -hmm. Depends. Depends of the context. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Depends of okay. the context. I think 
My brother was snowboarding when he uh, was braked uh, in past, I know. What's the past of break? Broke. 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 And now that depends. That depends on uh, what is exactly you're trying to explain and w in which position of the sentence is. So in this case, is board is, is a verb. Is a verb. In this case, yes. Mm. Wow. Okay. Tell me something. Let me check. What my I will give you a recommendation right now. We have seven sentences, right? Yes. Okay, so why you don't uh, divide it yourself? Why, for example, number one is Adela, number two is Umberto, and so on. And then when you have finished, you can come up together and you can discuss it. Okay. Okay, and I will give you five minutes more and then we'll come back. Okay. 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 Boarding. Anita, the sentence uh, be my brother was snowboarding. Yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. We have only to use uh, that uh, to be. Yes, okay. um, was is was an E and G boarding. Yes. 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 Okay. 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 Number two. I number two several years ago. I was having problems with math, so I found a tutor to help me. Yes. Okay. Yes. I don't give yeah. the answer, Alain. Come on. Alain was no, 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 no. Did you guys work in one of each, or Alain made everything? No, no. Just no. Oh, no, Ah, okay, okay, okay. No, I'm just asking, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, but, uh, yes, Jose. We have one, everyone, but uh, now what? We have to write every sentence. No, 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 no. You just have to share what you have done, okay? For example, if you, yeah, okay. I think that this number three is this and this and this. Okay, okay. what do you think guys? If it's correct or no, can I change yeah. it? Okay, like that way, okay? You have only two minutes more and then we come back together, okay? Okay. Okay, okay cool. Okay, the number three, the couple have The phone, I don't know, but it maybe is run. 
the past, the simple past. It's, it's, it's run. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Run three times. Very good, yes. The past of run is run. Very good. And then... Gotta stop. Stop it. Exactly. Why, Roxy, is a stop it? And because it's in the past. Is it the past, exactly. And a stop is a regular or irregular verb? Regular. Um, mm -hmm. It's regular, but you, you, you put a double P. Exactly. Very good. It's regular. You put a double P and then you put ED at the end. Very good job. Yeah, mm -hmm. Because Next. it's a short verb. Exactly. You're right. You see, I know that you knew it. <laughs> you, just, you just have to make a refresh, but you yes. know that already. So very good. Only one more minute, then we come back together. Okay, guys? Okay. Okie dokie. Okay. Number seven is my parents were meeting each other while, while they work at the at the same restaurant in Vancouver. Yes. 